Good morning, friends. Pastor Jason here for our Tuesday morning check-in. It is very nice and pleasant out the, this morning. I'm sure the, hum, the humidity is going to ramp up later and it's going to be warm, so be careful if you're outside working today. Make sure you're getting pl plenty of water and fluids in to, to drink and take some breaks and stay cool if you are able to. Um, so to take a few moments this morning, I want to follow follow up a, a bit with Pastor Angie's message from Sunday. You know, we're we're starting on this new ser series. We're starting to talk about you know kind of what what happens when everything seems to be falling apart, when things start to become unraveled around us. And I love where that we we got started off. You know this idea of when our expectations are unraveled, when our expectations aren't met. And what I think the key to the whole thing was, and hopefully you get you guys caught on to this theme that PA kept kept going back to over and over on Sunday is that when things begin to unravel, we have to we have to shift our expectations. We shift them, but we don't lower our expectations. And I think that's a really key piece for us to hold on to right now. Um you know, we, we don't, we're not lowering our standards. We're not lowering our expectations. We're not going to, you know, settle for, for less. God d didn't make us for that. God doesn't want that for us. I mean, God is a, God is a God of yes and amen and more and blessings that we can't poss possibly store or contain. A God like that will never ask us to, lower our expectations in any circ circumstance but maybe it is a shift you know as i think think about just some of the things that we've gotten to take part in in these last few months um you know we uh, the job that miss kelly kelly did with camps more a few weeks ago and our second one coming coming up here first weekend of august is camps more this year the exact same as it's been in years past no. The expectations have shifted in terms of how many kids, in terms of what we're able to do, but the expectation is not lowered. We're going to pump as much fun, as much love, as much Jesus as we can into everything that we did get, get to do with those kids and with their families. It's a shift in our expectations, not a lowering of our expectations. I think about the baseball season that Brooks and Declan have got to take part in that I've got to coach this this year was was baseball this year the same as in years past no it's rather different but it was so much fun and it was just a gift to go out and enjoy watching these kids play and getting to interact with some other parents with some distancing with some changes you know but we shifted our expectations we didn't lower them we still coached the kids hard. We still had, you know, things that we wanted them to do. We still wanted to see them improve, see them get better. Still wanted to see them have fun. And that was all able to happen. We shifted. We shifted our expectations, but we did not lower them. And I want to make sure that, that you know, kind of that's the lens that we're running some of these challenges, some of these diff difficulties, just some of this just stuff that the world seems to continue to throw at us these days. You know, will the school year be the same for the kids in our district when they go go back next next month? No, it's it's going to be different. Whether they're in person, whether they're online, whether things change two two or three times before then. Who knows? So we, we have to we have to shift our expectations of what's going to come. We have to be patient, we have to be fl flexible, but we don't lower our expectations. You know, what, what we want the kids to accomplish throughout the course of this year in terms of growth and maturity and progress and learn learning, you know, and that's, we're not lowering our expectations to make things easier. We're shifting our expectations just to make sure that we're maximizing the amount of good that is in every single situation that presents itself. So, um, you know, use use that as your lens. 
today. You know, Pastor Angie talked about, you know, run, run all of this stuff, run all of your expectations through this lens of your faith and through this lens of your experiences. And I continue to suggest that we try to do that this week. And again, really focus on that, on that notion of, you know, we, we're not lowering down our expectations. We're not expecting less of anyone. We're not ex expecting less of the world. We're not expecting less of God, certainly. Just shifting our expectations, readjust, recenter, you know, sur sur survey the field that we're in now, and then how do we maximize everything that still lies w within that? The most amount of love, the most amount of service, the most amount of peace, the most amount of hope. Shifting our expectations to fit in to that, but never lowering them down so that we settle. No. Thanks for spending some time together with us this morning. Friends, hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, just to piggyback a little bit on Pastor Angie's video from yesterday morning. The Sunday morning service out front in front of Asbury was amazing. It was so awesome to see so many people there if you came out last week and the weather's good this week we hope you can come back if you're unsure about getting up there or walking up there we 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 can help we can bring some extra chairs we can help carry your stuff up we'll figure it out folks but if you're curious and if you want to come try that that out we'd love to see you on sunday sunday morning have a great rest of your Tuesday, though. Have a great week. Be safe and be well. Friends, remember how much that you are loved.